morning everybody welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to day seven of our 12 days of Christmas I have a cute and fun project for you today but before I start that um, I wanted to show you what the giveaway was for this day I am giving away my favorite favorite um, alphabet dies and this one's called lowercase fun dies and it's the best you've seen me using this all the time um basically they're like let me show you the size of them really fast so you could see they're this tall right here and the actual measurements of the tall letters are these are like the you know the bigger guys are one inch and then the smaller, like the shorter, um, let's see, like for example, the little N is half an inch, okay? So they're pretty good size. I did, They're basically um, where you can use for cards, um, cards, layouts, anything, 3D. You've seen my design team members use it on a lot of 3D items as well. Okay, everybody, so anyways, this is the giveaway for today. Um, oh, and here they go all in the back. They're all connected together. You could leave them connected together or you could separate them, okay? All right, for today's project, I'm gonna tell you what I used first, okay? I didn't use the wreath in particular. I actually used pieces of it, okay? And this is what, if you, ha and I am almost positive every single crafty person out there has one of these laying around somewhere in their stash, okay? So just think of this whenever you need branches, okay? I use that. And then I use my red um, buttons here from Paper Tray Ink. And then I use my, this one I cannot keep on the shelves. I, I keep selling out of this one. So um, for all the emails I've gotten, I've gotten back to several of you already. But I will, these will be in stock this weekend. And this one's the Mixed Holiday Sentiments. So basically this was just a mixture of Halloween, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Um, there's even a New Year's one on here for you. So this is def this was a last year item, but it's still very popular because I think because we all still use them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I love about my stamps. Okay, are you ready to see the I fit I had I actually was trying to save it for camera, but I once I started making this I couldn't stop because it just came out so stinking cute. Now this one, all my teachers were asking me about projects now. Um, I had this with the teachers in mind. Now how, I'm going to take the little, now he doesn't like the hat off for too long because it doesn't look right with this hat, so I'm going to take it off just for a little bit. Okay, I found this cutie, patootie little light bulb. It's made out of glass, and the cool part about it, it's flat at the bottom and it stands up. How awesome is this? I found this at Hobby Lobby. It was like for a dollar something and it was even on sale. Okay, I didn't even know. I had found this at Hobby Lobby actually <laughs> tonight because I had to run in there to get some sports stuff for my son's. Um, he's having a winter festival at school on Saturday. So I knew that I could find something cute there. So as I was walking down the little glass where they have all the jar aisle, the minute I saw this, I knew right away. I knew what I, I was going to do with it. So I was upset because I didn't have M&Ms. I really was had a vision of M&Ms in here. But then after I thought about it, I did what I did is I washed it really good when I came home. And I landed up getting the little, you know, the little miniature candy canes. You know how they're like a little curve. What I did was I just broke off the curve at the top and just stuck it in there. Okay, and then this way when they're ready to eat, look at how cool is that? It even screws off. How cool is that? And all I have to do is just dump them over and eat the candy cane. Okay, this ribbon here is from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique, which I thought looked really cute. And here goes the branches. Whenever you need branches for a snowman, hey, grab your little wreath. I was so excited because this was the wreath I was supposed to make my little Santa on when I made it on the second day, I think. But it didn't work, so I saved it anyway. My mother had gave me that to use. Good thing I didn't give it back to her because I totally used it. What I did was just cut little pieces off, and how cool is that? And I just used some hot glue gun. The little tiny eyes I had actually gotten from Joanne's. They're just buttons. I kept it really super simple. And then the little hat, I actually got this at Joanne's like last year. I remember I got it for like 25 cents, you know, when they all go on clearance. And what I did was I just got two leaves. Um... And then use some, these are the three buttons from the paper tray ink. 
And then I used my die. These are the banner dies that come with the vintage stitch label dies. You know, there's a set of two in there. This was one of them, okay? So what I did was I just used some paper here that I had picked up from uh, Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. The yearbook, remember I told you this was my favorite? This was one of the giveaways for yesterday. I thought that would be really cute because it kind of looked like red and white snowflakes. So I kind of just got two of them and just layered them together and then just kind of curled the ends. And then that's the Snow Many Hugs from that stamp set mixed holiday sentiments. And then remember these little miniature cookie cutters I had used for my countdown to Christmas? I just hot glue gun one right there. I thought it was perfect. I thought I needed something. And then, bam, look at how cute that is. Now, I'm not sure about younger kids about working with this glass. If you do get it, definitely supervise them because this is the cutest. How can you not make this with your kids? So cute. I mean, as long as you supervise them, they should be fine. Don't work like on the concrete. Make sure there's a rug around you just in case they drop it. Um, but I also think it's cute for your coworkers. Like if you work at an office, I mean, when I used to work in an office, God, a long time ago, I totally could have just made this for everybody because God knows I always had some kind of candy on my desk all the time. And how cute would this have been to be on your coworker's desk? It could be teacher gifts. I mean, so many different things. And it's simple, cute, and very inexpensive to make. So cute, and I'm so happy I made this. Okay, everybody, so that is it for today. I hope you have a fabulous day, everybody, and don't forget to head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my fabulous design team has made for you today. Have a good day, everybody, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.